everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. Now, where we left off last time, I believe we have to figure out some sort of puzzle with the, uh, with the water flow um, out this way around here. And something that we got to figure out in the restaurant. So we're going to just go and run back into it and then figure out where we're going to go. And I might just quickly go put my ink ribbons back because I can't see them being very useful. So we're going to run without the ink ribbons for a start as I warm up and get back to playing video games again. Um, I've recently just been rearranging my, my setup in my room at the moment, so there may have been a delay in a couple of uploads that have come through. I've been aiming to get some pretty consistent um, daily uploads um, when I've been uploading just before I go to bed. Um, it's not sort of aiming to be the consistent or the way that I'm going to be uploading. It's just if I have time, I'm able to pump them out, which feels really good. Um, but yeah, I got a new desk and I've been rearranging that and I've got I've still actually got a couple of new things on the way uh, just to spruce it up a bit um, and make everything a bit more efficient for me so that's really nice um, maybe I'll maybe I'll show you what it looks like when it's all ready um, basically because I've just been like working from home I basically work game and edit and record all at the same desk so I'm in the same spot for a lot of time uh, so I'm trying to separate that so I've gotten a separate desk area for like gaming and it looks very nice and then my old area just for working only so it allows me to have a little bit of a change in environment when I am doing stuff so we'll see how we go um, but without further ado let's uh, let's keep playing the video game um, I'm gonna keep the fire hook on and I'm not sure about the power cable at this stage. I might just uh, take the power cable out for a moment because there was like that. Um, there was like the fire escape stairwell that had like a box that looked like you could put a power cable in it and then the stairs went up. So I'm like, I'm not sure if I missed that as an opportunity to, uh, I'm not sure if I missed that as an opportunity or not. Um, but we'll see. I have a feeling that's where the power cable was supposed to go. Uh, we'll keep the setup of having two weapons, first aid, and I have a feeling this firehook's going to come in handy. I think what I was going to do in the last episode was um, I was going to check out the restaurant because it had like a cellar door that looks like I could uh, crack open. So um, let's go have let's go have a look at that first. Maybe that'll give some. Maybe that'll give some answers. Um, I'm curious. Uh, this new setup as well that I'm in at the moment. Um, I have had to move my monitors are a bit more spaced apart, and I actually had to uh, kind of juggle them around a bit. So I've actually swapped like placements as well. So the way that I'm actually normally facing is like a bit further out. So I look I look a bit different. So I'm just like assessing where I actually am. <laughs> I have to get used to actually looking more directly at you when I'm talking and playing alongside you watching um, instead of just me constantly trying to be like, is the stream and recording okay? <laughs> so that's kind of the thing that I kind of get myself, um, get myself stuck into a lot. Um, so it'll look a little different while I um, change everything around and move things over. I've got a couple of monitors coming in, so it'll be different again in a few days. So <laughs> I knew that fire hook would be coming in handy though. So there we go. Um, it feels like that'd probably be the... What's that? What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill. Did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. Wait. How did he find me? No, no, no. Okay, this is another decision. Okay. I wasn't ready. Run into the basement. Hide inside the kitchen. 
Uh, we're going inside the basement. This way. Hey, lady, my name is Carlos. I'm with Umbrella. We're gonna kill you. Are we gonna... Are we going to flood and drown here? Oh my god. This chest has been ripped into and torn apart. It's a freezer. Yeah, well, let me into it. Um... Hello, Carlos. We are drowning. Carlos, please help me. You're um, su me. super cool, super cool umbrella man. Are we just going back up the ladder? Follow me. Let's go back up the ladder because. Does that mean if I went into the kitchen, the basement wouldn't flood? What the? I think I would rather die. He just destroyed the whole kitchen. I don't even think... I don't even have anything equipped. I made a mistake. I really like how Carlos just actually took most of the hits for me there. That was great. Great job, Carlos, at taking all of those hits for me. <laughs> I think I almost... yeah, I... I was so close to death. Um... Oh man, I almost want to start again. I didn't feel too great about that. That just drain out. I think that just drained out all the water. Perfect. Lovely. Now we can go back down. Um, I guess I'll just use the first aid kit because I have to. I wonder if hiding in the kitchen um, would have been the safer option, but maybe both would have resulted in having to fight him anyway. That is a that is a shame. Okay, so emptying out the water actually does nothing. I still can't get into the freezer, regardless. That's really weird. What was the point? What was the point? Alright. I can't even talk to this guy. Alright, we'll go up the ladder. Hey, my name's Carlos, and I'm here to save you, but now, after you killed that guy, I've got no nothing to say anymore. Because, uh, for some reason, you can't talk to me. I just have this guy with me now? Is that, is that what's happening? And he doesn't know that I'm with stars, I assume, because he thinks I'm a civilian. So this is where I came from. Well, I guess there's nothing to do in here now. Um, maybe, uh, maybe Carlos will be able to figure out the. Um, maybe Carlos can help me figure out the uh, the puzzle with the with the medallion. Maybe. Wait, I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love oh my, my accent. It drives them crazy. What? Keep dreaming. Yeah. Tell me, why oh, did buddy. Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it. Think about it. 
That was a cool line though. I actually liked that piece of dialogue, like about the dog um, asking why the stick has been thrown. <laughs> uh, we no longer have a friend to help us with this. So I have yet to figure out uh, what my wisdom is. It might be something that I already own then, and uh, I am not wise enough to figure it out. But he has, uh, he's run off, and I honestly just have less answers than what I, what I started with. I guess I can go that way. Need to figure out how to get here as well. Um, I'll get my, I'll get, I'll just need to get my bearings back, I guess, um, and figure out where I need to, where I need to go, um, because we might not have, um, we might not have the item that we need yet for, um, for the wisdom. Let me just have a look. Because the slot doesn't look super obvious is what I would have to put in there. Like, I don't expect, like, I don't know, would the crank work? Would the blue gem work? I don't know. It just kind of makes me want to, like, try a couple of items and then see if that will actually do anything. Um, I've only got one first aid thing left, so um, I might just carry a herb for some insurance as well. Um, yeah. Let's just, uh, let's just stick with that, I think. That's fine. And let's go check if our wisdom is any of these things. That's what I want to know. So we'll run back down this way, and if it's not any of these things, I'm just going to chuck everything in the item box and then we'll try and go another way and just run around until we get answers. Uh, that seems to be that seems to be how we should do it. Um, so here, let's have a look. No. No. Definitely no. Um, yeah, I need to figure out. I need to figure out what it is, and I have no idea. So back to the back to the item box. Put it all back. Then we'll go straight down this way, I guess, and then we'll see what's uh, see what lies this way. Hopefully we'll find something that's kind of like obviously what we need. Right. In you go. In you go. And we'll just run with this. Nemesis is so much more of a threat, which is what I've uh, I've read in in comments and when I've looked up some information. So um, I just am fully expecting him to just keep jumping out at me and just keep attacking me, <laughs> and I'm gonna just have to try and just keep running because, to be honest, like fighting him is so not worth it if I can avoid it, I guess. Raccoon City Hall. What is this? Oh, well, this is where I can put a blue gem. A clock that is not functioning. Two gems are missing from the hour plate. Um, well, I guess when I get the when I get the second one, I'll I'll put it in. There's not really much point in um, doing it for now. Oh my God! Every time you just search a body and it's like, hey, <laughs> you want sixty handgun bullets, dude? Look at these bodies. <laughs> I also I need I remember that we know where the fire hose is, but we need something to remove the fire hose as well. So I need to figure out how to get that out. It looks like we're able to go into the newspaper office here. So 
that's locked from the other side, so only one way in. So I guess we'll just go in and have a look. Um, three item slots should be fine, but we'll see how we go. We got a first aid spray, so I've already made one mistake. At least that doesn't actually take up an inventory space that just goes into my box. <laughs> um, can't use this. I can push this ladder. I guess I'm going, actually, it looks like I'm going up to that thing on the wall. Yeah. So I can open the shutters. Did someone take a photo? Photo B. A close up shot of a zombie. <laughs> Who had time to take this photo? It says scoop on the backside. What? And then they died taking that photo. <laughs> There's no power going through the switchboard. Will you turn on the power? Yes. The power has been restored. Alright. Fireproof shutter is down. Let's open it up. Oh god. I don't think... I don't think the fire hose is going to reach this far, so maybe we need like a, um, maybe we need like a fire extinguisher. I don't think it, it looks like it's a barrier, but no, I can, we can go past. Alright, cool. For a sec, on that camera angle when you're in the other room, it actually looks like you might not be able to walk through. God damn. This is a mistake. Oh my god. Can we go in there now? No. It's just literally like exploding around us. Why? Jill, you are fearless, but this is not a good idea. Where are we? Alright, so we're just on the upper floor. Oh god, that's a big boy. Hello, sir. Do you run this establishment? I've, I'm after some newspaper. Can you help me out? Yes? No? Oh my god, why did I... I just wanted to take his head off. I made a grave mistake. Wasted shot for that. It's like, hello, sir. Can you help me out? Bam! Bring the roof down. It looks like there's another gem in here, too. So now I can actually... Why are those... Why are those red herbs so tiny down there? Look at them. Look at those tiny little red herbs. I don't have enough item space for them either. Um, oh god, I didn't even notice that you were there, buddy. Yeah! Uh, photo number C, so I think we're missing photo A. The police have been destroyed. Doesn't say scoop on the back of that one. Reporter's memo. I've found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is happening in this city. One man actually ate people to death. Well, I wouldn't say it's a cannibal disease, my friend. Raccoon City under martial law. Buddy, get out of the city, you're gonna die. This was probably you, and I just shot you in the arm. Um, files and bizarre incidents are scattered around. Oh god! I wasn't ready for you. Alright, well, there's gunpowder there as well, so we're also going to leave the gunpowder because I have limited space to pick anything up. Um, I can come back. I mean... With this current difficulty, the gunpowder economy is probably going to be booming in my item box because I don't expect to be using it that much unless I want to make, like, if we can make shotgun shells, that's probably going to be the use. Um, these red herbs, I do actually want to take them. I think we can make it back to the, um, wait. Are they here or not? Are they meant to, look, here they're not there. And if I step back, there's like two little red herbs there. 
is this a glitch? Because they're so tiny. I, I just assume that they're not actually real. I'm hallucinating. Uh, let's just take the gunpowder then. And get out. And the mystery, uh, the mystery red herbs can, um, can stay that way. Uh, nothing that way. Alright, so let's leave. Uh, we'll go back to the item box. I'll chuck some stuff in there and I'll get the blue gem out. And then we can open up the, um, we can open up that clock, which I guess will open up that gate, it seems like. Slowly step past this. Cool. Out we go. Back to the item box. The music in this area is uh, is unsettling. I don't like it. Get me out of here. I'm very excited to uh, definitely play Resident Evil 2 and 3 again um, in the future on normal difficulty. I think that's going to be really fun um, to get a bit more of a challenging experience over over what we're currently doing. Um, I think that's going to be great, especially that we want to play um, Claire A, Leon B for um, RE2. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I may as well just, they may as well, honestly, I think they just may as well have just given you infinite handgun bullets for easy mode. Because there's a lot. If I ever run out of anything, I always have handgun ammo to fall back on. Alright, blue gem and green gem, we've got that. Um, cool bananas. Let's, uh, let's run with that. I think that's a good uh, it's a good starting point because we'll clear out those two gems in a minute and then I guess we'll go through the city hall I guess like you just get met with like things that you need to do or objectives but you kind of have to still navigate and make your way around the city to a bunch of other things like the first thing that we had that we needed to do was getting the fire hose but that's just led us into a, a whole series of other things <laughs> Um, a whole series of other things, like, um, we ended up needing, we now need to get another item to actually get the fire hose loose, we're now in this area with the, with the gems, um, we still need to figure out what this puzzle thing over here is, um, there's a, something going on here to get to the substation, no idea. I was going to try and combine them so I could use them. I know, because I have one more. I was going to see if I could use them both at the same time, but I cannot. Alright, give me that clock. Nice. The clock is the key to the Raccoon City Hall, apparently. All of the gems are set. It seems to be functioning. Alright, next step, Raccoon City Hall. Ooh, we got more movable statues. Um, where is this? So this will go through. We got some sort of manor or some house going on. If we go up here, we'll be able to work our way to a gas station. And then down this way, we'll end up being able to go to trolley. Why does it feel like something's gonna bust out of here? Stuck from the other side and won't open. Why do I get the feeling that stuff is just gonna burst out of these windows? That hallway is going to come back and bite me in the ass. There's gonna be something that jumps out of there later on. Which way should we go first? The trolley seems like accessible. But we might be able to lockpick the gas station. I don't know. Um, let's check this way. Out of curiosity, I want to see if we can go to the gas station first. 
If it's locked, it just means it's not our main objective, and that's fine. Stagler. These pre-rendered backgrounds are awesome. Oh, look at this car. It's actually sweet. Love this car. Um, Alright, cool. We actually have red herbs here that actually exist for real this time. There's a hex-shaped hole. Ooh. That's going to be the crank, I reckon. That's going to be the crank. So much back and forth. It's the back and forth to the item box game because I never have the I never have the right things on me. Um, let's commit. Let's do. Let's commit and do gas station first. So I'm gonna go back and go get the go get the crank. At least I kind of have a bit of a sense of where everything is. Um, part of me keeps wanting to be like, oh, maybe I should use my handgun. Considering um, enemies do have less health as it is. But then every time I go, I'm going to use my handgun, um, Nemesis comes out. So. <laughs> And then it just becomes silly. Um, what did I need? I have a feeling that this is going to be the one, right? There you go. Hex edged. I knew it. Let's go hex this door open. I'm ready for it. Just trying to think what we will even get in there. I just feel like it's just going to be filled with, uh, filled with zombies. Or maybe, you know, maybe some nice items. And also, if I could remember the way to go, that would be great. Instead of going that way automatically. This is actually smart. Um, because the city hall's a bit hidden if you don't go over to the left and see it. You can just easily run around and go, I'm lost. Cool. Alright. Let's see what the gas station holds for us. In you go. Into your hex-shaped hole. Kidding, dude. What? A broken hex crank is inserted here. I can't turn it without some type of help. Oh my god. I thought we I thought we had it. Um I don't think I have anything right now that would help. I don't think we have anything. Um we're coming back here. <sighs> I've been holding that one off for ages. <laughs> we're coming back here. So I'll leave those red herbs for now because we're just going to go the other way. And we're going to go through to the trolley. And then maybe in the trolley there'll be something that's like, Hey, here's a super special convenient item that you need. That'll probably be like something for the fire hose. <laughs> Instead of um, the crank for that. Because they just all the objectives are all over the place. Hey buddy, you alright? Just crawling, crawling along to me there? Yeah, it's okay buddy. Your legs don't work anymore, it's alright. This guy's having a munch, he's got dinner. Am I getting this guy or not? Now I am. Buddy, gotta get your head out of the game. Out of the eating other people game and into the actually surviving game. Buddy, 
You missed your opportunity to, to bite at my ankles. I'm sorry. You're not good enough. This door looks like it's going to fly off at some point because it stands out. There's been a couple like that, actually. A couple of car doors. Maybe I'm able to get an item that can remove them. <laughs> God, I used 18% of that in that area. That felt kind of silly. I probably could have avoided them. Lonsdale Yard. Big West Corporation. That's alright. Uh, two green herbs. I will, I will commit you to memory and come back for you, I promise. Um, can't investigate any of this. Guy left his bike here in the no bike zone? What an idiot. Ooh, haha. <laughs> I swear I just watched so many limbs fly off, dude. Oh. Mwah. 28 shotgun shells. Thank you. Strong barricade is blocking the way. Hey guys, what was it like to lose all of your limbs in the explosion? Was it fun? Alright, let's climb up over here. God, I feel like Nemesis is just gonna run out of here. He's goddamn everywhere. Um, one door is locked, one door is open. So this is locked. The other side. Always worth trying it anyway. Sir, one of your dead friends over there gave me something to say hello. What's happening here? Did I just kill three in one? I just killed three in one go. Because I just watched the blood coming out of them. That is ridiculous, dude. So sometimes the shotgun won't kill an enemy in one hit. But it will kill three in one hit. It's not working anymore. Well, that's a shame. Uh, let's go into the trolley. Trolley problem... Oh no, do I need a power cable when I left it in the item box? Uh, I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin. It's okay, I'm up for the job. It's my first day, I'm Kevin. I'm a mechanic, I got this. Let me tell you how to make sure you and your trains get along just fine. They were made in 1968, but they still work. We can always depend on them. Uh, the circuits, fix it easily, avoid those malfunctions, check the parts. Um, da -da -da. If you need to replace them, you have to choose a suitable part. Even if you can't find another original, find something that works good enough. Good quality oil. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. This guy clearly has not seen Terminator and has no idea what Skynet is. Damn it, that's the power cable that I need to... So this is what I need to use the power cable for. And I also need another fuse. And I need oil. I need three things. I love this. This game is just like, hey man, we're going to give you objectives on top of your objectives. I heard you liked objectives, so here's some more objectives. So I have a power cable. And I need two other items. So at least it's not just the, the power cable. But at least we have one. That I'll be able to fix up. You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? Hey, I'm How did a girl like you survive in place like this? Stars. Stars? You mean the RPD special force team? Ugh. Hey, is someone wounded back there? RPD Special Forces team. Oh, He's not gonna make it, dude. Bad. Uh, they're coming. Get ready. Uh, uh, fire. Fire. Stay together. Calm down. He doesn't even know You're where he is. Now. You've got to end it. Everything is gonna be okay. I'm sorry. You've got to end it. No. 
don't come any closer. Stay away. This dude's straight up gonna turn. All right, um, where did the dude go? Did he go into the other car? Down this way? Sir, I was talking to you. Why did you walk away from me? So Jill, did you decide to help us out? Oh, there it he, looks like there we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. No, we can't trust her. Why? But Sarge, we need she's, her help. She's a pretty Are girl, man. You, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. Mikhail. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Okay, fair point. You put it that way, we take her with us. Fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're moving to the clock tower area, which is the designated landing zone for the extraction chopper. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. So where's the chopper? That's, That's yeah. a lot of ground to cover. Oh, where's the chopper? I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan, sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Jill, put this on. What is it? Explain what I just put on. Explain the fancy clothes you've given me, sir. <gasps> the wrench. We're using that for the gas station. And we're going to get oil from the gas station. <laughs> Maybe even the fuse. Probably the oil, though. Awesome. Well, I maintained control room because um, there's no L. I don't know where the L went. All right, open the lock. So we've got two ways out of here, which means I feel like we're going to need to use one of those doors at one point if we get chased through here, probably. Um, okay. Uh, I think with the wrench, we can just go straight to the straight to the gas station then. Let's do that. Um, and then we'll find on the way, at some point, uh, we can find a, a, a moment to take us back to the item room so I can get the power cable as well. So once we have all three, we can just dump them in, get this cable car moving. So... Honestly, I'm getting to a point now where I'm like, oh, actually, no, that wrench. I think I could use the wrench for the, um, for the fire hose. See, I told you, it's like, the, instead, you get your item for the item all the way down this way. And that'll probably be, like, where we can go get a fuse or something. Maybe down in the substation. I don't even know. Um, I don't think that wrench is going to be for the, um... For this or maybe maybe because I have no idea what the hell is going on uh, you can choose use the wrench on the gas station door or use the wrench on the the bolt thing for the for the fire hose that is me just assuming the wrench might be a one-time use because we've seen a couple of items that we've used like the fire hook that have disappeared. Oh, I knew it! I knew it, sir! I knew you were coming out of there and I was ready for you, you fuck. And all we got was this lousy gunpowder bee. This is why we always have the shotgun on. Uh, I'm at full items, so we are going back to the item box whether I like it or not. Which is the other way. Don't jump out through the window. Cool. Don't jump out through the door. I knew it! You assholes! You were having a party in here and you weren't supposed to. Come on, big boy. You're going down. 
three herbs. This is this is just herbs on herbs on herbs, to be honest. Um, look, I'm not in the mood to make decisions right now about my herbs, so let me just have a look at this first. A bronze statue of Raccoon City Mayor Michael Warren. There's a switch. We push it. Mm. Yes, regrettably, it's holding something in its hand. You can't carry any more items. Yes, that's the wisdom. I'm going to go put the wisdom in the thing for the water. So many objectives. Honestly, it's just like, here's the thing for the thing. And here's another thing for the thing now. And then there's like the bronze plate that we can get. And then what do we do with that? Where do we put the bronze... The, not the bronze plate, the, the, the circle thing. I don't know, man. So many, so many choices. Hmm. Alright, first things first. You're getting out of here. Empty this gunpowder in. Uh, mixed herb in here. We got more herbs. I'm gonna have to... Oh man, honestly. <laughs> I do see the color coding on the side now, as it was pointed out, so you at least have like a bit more of a uh, an idea where everything is. Um, but yeah, the items not moving is still kind of faking me out. So, so much, so much gunpowder. Uh, and then green herbs, green herbs, green herbs for days. wonder if I'm going to need anything else. Uh, I could guess I could bring the power cable back to the car, but I'll, I'll do that another time. Um, I'm going to save is what I'm going to do, I think. Um, we've, done, we've done some things. I think that's worth, uh, that's worth a save. Cool. And then we can put this guy back. So we've got three slots at the moment, so those three herbs uh, in that garden might have to wait, unless... I might just chuck this guy back as well. Uh, my, uh, my sorting OCD really do be coming into like full effect right now, and I'm like, oh, yep. <laughs> manually sort everything. We'll just keep the red herbs down here, because why not? Uh, we can get the wisdom and then uh, go chuck that in the in the panel. Let's just do that first, because that's something that I, I know that I can just chuck in and resolve immediately. Um, I didn't ask for this. I didn't ask for a whole bunch of you to come back. Oh man, um, I don't want to keep using my shotgun ammo, you know? Let's, let's figure this out, right? I'm going to put the lockpick away, because there's no real, like, small doors or anything that have really come up recently. Like, if I need it, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go figure it out. Alright. Let's just run with a handgun for a little while and have four open slots. Did I get rid of the wrench? I did get rid of the wrench. I didn't mean to get rid of the wrench. Ah. We're coming back down here anyway. We do need to use the wrench on the on the item uh, the item bolt thing, whatever it is. Words. Oh, this guy is tougher than I thought he would be. Please don't fuck this up. You're smart. You're better than this. You're better than this. I'm not better than this. That's what happens when I use a handgun, dude. Um, I forgot how to quick turn. I'm really bad at this game. How do I quick turn again? That one. Run, 
the ground, buddy. What are you doing? I didn't know that they were just gonna... Is this like, are they on a timer where they just spawn back? Or is it just like, they just decide that they're like, we're gonna repopulate the area now? You're not even dead. I see you there. Fake dying on the stairs. And there you go, just like that. You can just use 50 bullets. <laughs> on all of the zombies, because why not? Um, okay, back this way. We are going back this way. No, I needed to go get the wisdom. I'm smarter than this, come on. Um, I'm going to get the wrench out on second thought while we're here. I think um, getting getting the wrench is good, so let's get that. Where did I put you? There I put you. Cool. Wrench. Have wrench. We'll travel. Let's go. Da -da -da. Go get this uh, concrete book of wisdom, which is going to be great. Uh, which is this way. That would be right. Let's at least let's at least solve one puzzle while we're here. All right. Hello, I'm after your book. May I have a read of it, please? Give me book. Cool. I wonder if I could put something in its place. Um, I'll come back for you later, Herbs. You're in abundance, so it's fine. I've got plenty of the herbs. Not enough of the first aid kits. But the first aid kit is just... The box is just too handy for me. I need it. This way. Carlos did not explain what the thing that I'm wearing is. I assume maybe it'll. Does it, is it going to give me more protection, even though it's basically just two straps? Doesn't. Like, can I hold. I don't think I can hold more ammo or anything. Would have been nice if Carlos said, this will make you big and strong or something. Alright, let's chuck the book in here. In you go, buddy. I guess that means the water won't flow, is what I'm assuming should happen. The future is in our... Ah, oh, and then I can put this in. Yeah, the water won't flow. Ooh, does that mean I could put um, this compass in his hands instead? Would that actually change something? I wonder what that would do though. Only one way to find out. Let's go all the way back to the statue. A lot of back and forth in this game. A lot of back and forth. Oh, ah. Ah, jump scares. It's it's cheap. And it works. And there's so many of them. Oh yes, that's that's the feel-good moment right there. That is the feel-good moment. All of you lined up for me. It's not my fault that you do not know how to be tactical. Encounters with dogs can either be really like simple or they can just get attacking you on all angles and it sucks and I think when I initially put Resident Evil 1 in on PS1 like years and years ago when I like bought it from <laughs> bought it from a game store I encountered a dog and then I went no <laughs> and then I put the game away Ooh, it moves will I take the battery what needs a battery 
The train carriage needs a fuse and oil, so not a battery. That's like for a car, though. What have we encountered that would need a battery? Maybe the substation would need like a battery or something if there's like some power out. Huh. Well, we're going to have to hold on to the battery because I cannot remember if that's something that we need to do yet. Um, let's go to the gas station. Oh, um, see? You see? I knew... Oh my god. Not only... Not... Not only do they bust out of the door, but they bust out of the window. And I knew they were going to come out of the window. <sighs> and I... And it, it got me anyway, dude. I'm a fool. I knew it was coming. Can't trust open windows. At least it wasn't Nemesis. That's uh, that is the only positive that I could really gather from this. Alright, now let me see if the wrench can be used for this. It can. Now please let me keep the wrench, because I feel like I'm going to need the wrench for the, for the fire hose, right? To get it loose. Yeah, still have the wrench. Alright, cool. So we're going to need to use that on the fire hose thing as well. All right, stick your hands up. Who's in here? Who put the shutter down? Jill. Hey, <laughs> the zombies are getting restless. I know. I can hear them. What's going on? Um. Uh, I don't know. We're gonna have to fight off a whole bunch of them, or what? Um. Jill! What's wrong? They're coming! They must have sniffed us out! They know we're here! Hey, calm down! Any objections to my playing hero this time? What are you doing? Carlos! Carlos! This guy that I don't even know! Don't do it! Alright, you can go on the first aid box. If that guy wants to sacrifice his own life, he can do it. It's a storage to maintain the temperature level of the oil. We operate the electronic lock. Ooh, not yet. Because it feels like there's something a bit more pressing to attend to right now. Which is Carlos being a hero, apparently. Can I do anything in this room? It is soaked with machine oil. Ooh. I could, like... If only I kept my lighter on me, I could have probably, like... I don't know. Probably wouldn't really do anything, to be honest, because the door's closed. Um, Carlos, let's... let me help you. Don't get eaten. Mr. Guy. He's just, why is he no. sat like this? What? Relax, I'm not dead yet. Yeah, dude, he's clean. He ain't got Are no blood okay? on him, not a drop. I'm fine. Uh, that hero stuff is harder than it looks. Oh my god, stop. Okay, I'm gonna scrounge up some equipment. There might not be any at our destination. Okay, bro. Thanks for holding off the army for us. That conveniently it was very easy for you because you're the hero. All right, let's have a look at this thing, right? Storage to maintain the temperature level of the oil. We operate the electronic lock. What? Oh, what? I don't know how this works. Press buttons until something happens. Cool. Uh, now I have to get C. 
Pro tip, press buttons until things happen. And that's how you win. Will you take the machine oil? Yes. Um, so this is just machine oil, right? Um, I'm pretty sure the carriage asked for mixed oil, right? Oh, here we go. Oh my god. Um... Jesus Christ. I was like, that was all of a sudden? My god. <laughs> wow. Um... I don't have enough space. And is this gonna blow up and I'm gonna miss my red herbs? Oh my god! so unnecessary and there are goes my red herbs rest in peace I couldn't have taken you with me anyway only one of you and I'd prefer you stay and die together that is amazing so unnecessary but amazing I love like actual environment changes to the city as well as you're playing like that is uh, that is incredible little bit a little bit unsettling when you're just randomly just chilling out and then it's like okay time for the time for the gas station to just explode on you um maybe the machine because this looks like the machine oil right looks like it's in a like more of a container that we would pour it into something but maybe we can pour it into the the train as it is there's only one way to find out and that is to go there and put it in the train I guess um, what we're going to do at this point is I'm gonna reassess my stuff at the at the item box because we've gotten a few items um, we still need to get this fuse so I think what I might do for now is I'm going to keep the I'm gonna keep the wrench for the fire hose so we can put that fire out and I might keep the battery because I have a feeling that that might be coming up um, to use for some reason uh, that's all that I can really assume so let's run with this at the moment uh, machine oil is going to sit with the power cable until we get all three um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save the game and I'm going to take a break. So I'm going to end this episode here. Um, so the next episode looks like what we've got to do is we're going to get that fire hose. I think the wrench will be good for that. We'll be able to finally go down that pathway and see what lies down there. I think that's the post office that would be down that way. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching this episode here. And I will see you in the next episode of Resident Evil 3. Thank you.